Hello and welcome back to Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition for part 4 of the Kotyun Khan campaign playthrough, Blood for Blood. Treachery. While attending a lavish feast thrown by a Hungarian lord, Khan Kotyun was murdered in cold blood by Hungarian and German knights. Our people are outraged and are out for blood. The Hungarians think we will scatter without Kotyun's leadership, but they are wrong. They have united us in pursuit of one goal, to avenge the death of our one true Khan. Our clan leaders have come together and taken an oath according to the old human traditions. With sword in hand over a dead dog cut in two, they swear not to dismount their horses until Kotian's death has been paid back in blood. If our leaders fail to honor their oath, their own clansmen will ensure that they suffer the same fate as the dog that they swore the oath upon. That is the way of the Cumans. We will act before the combined armies of Frederick and the Hungarian lords arrive. We know that there is a safe haven to the south in Bulgaria. The Bulgarian emperor is of Cuman descent and is ready to provide safe passage for our elderly and young. In the meantime, all men and women able to mount a horse will venture out to raid the Hungarian countryside. Our vengeance will be swift and thorough. We will show no mercy. Hungary will burn. Seems kind of harsh on the dog, but there you go. Uh, the premise of this one is maybe slightly confusing. I did a bit of a test run last night, and uh, something that wasn't very clear to me is why do we have to go around helping out the Hungarians if the Hungarians have just betrayed and killed Kotyan. And it's because the particular characters that we're playing as, if they can be called characters, uh, don't yet know about Kotyan's death. So that is why you are confused by that. Here is a scout report if you want to give it a read. Otherwise, let's just get into it. Actually, this ox cart's going to get in the way. There's something down here, or there was. Yeah. Bit of a weird hidden feature there. Not really a feature. Hidden ox cart. Anyway, we've got a, a reasonable starting force here, and we're going to go help out the Hungarians. As you can possibly hear, my uh, cold from the previous part's not yet gone away. So, bear with me on that. Uh, was that it? Nope, a few more coming here. Don't know if we get anything for helping these guys out. We'll still do it because it's massively in our favor. Thank you very much, strangers. We owe you our lives. We do not have much, but we will share with you what we have. Okay, three ox cuts. That's good. That's going to be three kept checks later on. Very much worth having. Of spearmen here. Let's try and snipe them with the cavalry archers before our other units get involved. That's not going to work, is it? Maybe it did. Okay, that's great. And here we have a friendly monk who is going to help heal us up and keep us healthy. Because this is a little bit like the first scenario in the campaign. You don't actually have uh, any kind of villager production or anything like that. Can we save this guy? Nope. Thank you, child. These pagan savages have been destroying our Christian sanctuaries all over the country. The dark time is coming. A visit to the Cumans. I think we have to actually go through the gate, don't we? There we go. We heard that you were coming, and we could use your help. You can train additional soldiers in my camp. I don't think there's any major rush in this scenario. If you take a look at the scores of the players, you'll notice that none of them are going up. So we can afford to take our time a little bit here just to make sure we do it right. So I want to wait for the ox carts to arrive and then I'm going to... As well as getting the Kipchaks, I'm going to start getting a few upgrades in the blacksmith. Chief among them, Bodkin Arrow, is going to be really good. I think we've already got bloodlines to start off with, which is nice. One extra Kipchak, two Kipchaks, third Kipchak should be on its way. Get Bodkin Arrow. Uh, 
and potentially can spend some spare resources on cavalry archers or step lances if we want them. But for now, let's just go for another archer armor and we'll get one extra cavalry archer. Obviously no Kotyan to worry about here, so we don't have any particular hero to be looking out for. If we go up here we should find a merchant who needs our help. Although when I did a test run last night this trigger was really glitched and the merchant just didn't move, which was uh, really annoying. But we'll see if it happens this time. Hopefully not. Should find him momentarily. Unless we take out the units ourselves, because I think these guys are coming to potentially ambush the merchant on his way to the camp. So if we can just clear the path immediately, we don't need to involve them. That would be ideal. And we've not taken too much damage there. Should be able to heal everything off once we go back to the monk. Main thing is we just want to avoid any losses. So any unit we lose is not coming back and we can't re reproduce it in any way whatsoever. But if we head up here we should encounter the merchant who for some reason, as you will see in just a moment, my goats need to make it to the market, but there are Tatar horsemen it, in the area. He's wearing a crown. Me he's, <laughs> he's got the image of the king. Yeah, it's, it's a bit confusing. I'm not sure why they've done it like that. Anyway, uh, right. Let's get another upgrade. We can't. Okay. Um, in that case, I think we can get a few step lances, a couple of step lances. And uh, you should be good to go. You shouldn't be threatened at all. I will follow him just to make sure he doesn't get stuck. Probably won't make a difference if I follow him or not, but just want to absolutely make sure that nothing goes wrong here. As yeah, I think we have successfully cleared out all resistance. So we'll see what we actually get for this because I'm not actually sure what's going to happen here. Wait, oh, the merchant is there, good. Okay, we've got the market. I'm not sure we're going to really use that. Because all the resources we're going to get are going to be quite helpful. But it's useful to have an extra ox cart in any case. Uh, I think maybe we should go back to the monk and heal up before we do anything else. But I think we will potentially get attacked in this area just here if we're not careful. So I need to avoid that just a little bit for now. Okay, we are now good to go. Got a decent force building here. And I believe we want to go this way because there is a Hungarian noble that we need to help out just to the east. Just need to clear out the forces around his base. And I forgot what he gives us, but most likely it's going to be another ox cart. Try and take these out with minimal losses. Focus down the spearmen in particular. And uh, for some reason, we're just massacring these innocent horses because somehow, apparently they are aligned and loyal to the Tatars. Not really sure how that one works. Did we just get... was that the ox cart going back to the... I guess it was. Okay, another Kipchak here. Bring him over. I don't think we'll get anything for taking out the Yurts. We'll still do it. Okay, let's see what comes up next. There are a couple of step lancers, uh, spearmen. Actually, quite a force there. I'm gonna just wait for this last Kipchak to arrive. Savage. Another village devastated by Tatar raiders. Once again, focus down the spearmen because they're gonna absolutely tear through us. And everything else should be fairly easy to finish off. A couple of slightly weakened unit now. Units even. I think we're okay. Force. The have been my camp for four days now. 
clear the surrounding lines of all our enemies, and I will reward you kindly. The Tata camp up ahead is well defended. We should avoid it until we are strong enough. I don't know if I even need to get involved here. Like, I'm fairly happy for the Hungarian noble to do all the work. Unless there is actually a physical character of the Hungarian noble and he dies, that wouldn't be good. But uh, I don't think there is. Anyway, I think I've lost possibly one unit there. Possibly more. The Mongols demanded that we hand your people over to them, but our king refused. Perhaps he was right to do so. Here is your goal. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna heal up and then we'll venture out once again. Oh, hang on. That happened a little sooner than expected. I bring ill tidings. The treacherous Hungarians have murdered Kotian in cold blood. Okay, I did want to go back to the monk. The Tatar's camp will not be far from here. It is no longer safe for us here. We can cross the Danube River and head south, but we will need siege equipment to get to the ships in a nearby town. So the stupid thing is, this monk who just praised us for uh, rescuing his church, uh, he also turns on us, so I, I sent the hero unit to deal with him. That's really not ideal though, because a few of these units are clearly pretty weakened. Um, so... Sadly, this is all we've got to work with, and uh, we can't heal them up either. Once again, we are killing innocent horses. Not sure what it is about the Cubans. I seem to love killing these poor innocent animals. Anyway, let's get a couple more Kipchaks and we can finally get the chain barding armor upgrade. Which I think will be worth it. And perhaps we will actually use the market because I'm not sure what we're going to do with all this wood. Seems kind of unnecessary. But I don't know, that's the thing. I mean, presumably we don't get villagers. Uh, what the hell? Oh, of course, so I guess when they turned on us, either the market got immediately destroyed or uh, it was already under attack and I didn't notice. We have no market, so we're stuck with 580 wood that we can't really use, but never mind. On we go. Oh, hang on. One more box cut. Not really sure where this came from. Okay, we'll send that back, get another Kipchak. I think we still get Kipchaks. And so we are now able to attack the burning town. But uh, I don't think we'll be doing that. Okay, before we go and take on the Tatar base, there is one final ox cart that we can rescue. So I think we should go and do that. Not too heavily defended. Might take some losses though. Not completely certain this is going to be worth it, but we're going to go for it. Hopefully we won't take too many losses. We can just focus them down. I think we will lose this one light cav. Yep, okay, never mind. Kipchak is obviously going to be far more helpful than the light cav. Plus we get a few resources. Maybe we can get that final blacksmith upgrade. And now we will prepare to attack the Cuban camp so that we can liberate the trebuchet. And uh, from that point on, I'm not really sure what happens because that is the extent to which I played last night. But we'll see how it goes. The plan here is to draw them out and take them on, weaken them bit by bit, rather than going for a head-on attack. Which we would probably win, but we would take some losses in the process, so potentially not ideal. Uh, this is a fairly manageable batch, I think. Take them on. Uh, some of them don't seem to be moving. I think you have to get really close to them before they actually get started. Alright, let's take that thing out. That's always... Quite an annoying unit to deal with, the Keshik, as uh, wow, I wasn't expecting them to actually come out in a raid, but that's fine, we can deal with that. Are they really going to shoot the ox carts? Are you serious? That's effectively lost us two Kipchaks. Can you move away? <laughs> See if we can rescue one at least. That's quite annoying, I thought they'd leave that alone. Okay, um, let's send that back. 
And uh, that does mean we've lost a kip check, but it's going to be still worth getting one more. As uh, here comes another force. Once again, a couple of Keshiks, but I guess they just patrol and we can pick them off. That's fine. Let them come back. Okay, two more step lances and one kip check, and I think we are now good to go. Might actually wait for that patrol to come back one more time, just so we can single them out and take them out before we take on the main base. I think that is the best approach. Otherwise, we'll have to take them all on at the same time. Doesn't look too heavily defended, but uh, here comes that final patrol. Three Keshiks, two Light Cav, that should be fine. Try and focus down the Keshiks. Perfect. Uh, hmm. I do see that mangonel there, that's not ideal. Right, let's try and rescue these. They've joined our side. Okay, here we go. Humans. We did not expect you here. We stayed behind after the battle of the Kalka River. And the Mongols forced us to join their army. Okay, I need to find some way of taking out this gate without getting taken down by the Mangonel. Possibly if I attack from the other side. No, there's one there too, and in fact it's an Onager, not a Mangonel, so that's kind of awkward to deal with. Could go for a spread stance. I feel like it's going to be difficult to avoid losses here. There, we got some step lances. Light cav, maybe? We can trick them into opening the gate. I doubt that would work, though. Cumin chief. Don't think we need to keep him alive. In fact, I'm pretty sure we don't. But, uh, this is not looking too nice. I think we just have to go for it. We're gonna spread out, and we're gonna try and break through this gate as soon as possible. Well, actually, we can just go straight in. Okay, take those out, take those out. If we take minimal losses, perfect. So that wasn't too bad actually. There's a couple more up here that we need to worry about. I'm gonna focus them down. Oh crap, there's loads. Might actually not quite get the onages. Take that thing out. Yeah, that was not ideal, but uh, I think that's okay. Let's just finish this tower off before it chews up one of our units. And... I'm just going to try and get out of range of the other tower. I don't think we want to be fighting those, ideally. Actually, if you just want to distract them, that would be perfect. Although I don't think it's going to work. There's a... Uh, It's actually kicked in, it's uh, it started to attack the towers itself. It says it's a cumin. I guess it is, it's captured cumin trebuchet possibly, but... I guess we have to go to the flag to activate some kind of trigger, so let's go do that. Uh, a few of these units are pretty weak in there, which is not ideal. What's going on? Oh, we have to actually take the towers out, I suppose. Possibly just these last few units who are on patrol. But no, it looks like we do need to take out the towers, so we'll go and do that. Because uh, the trebuchet, despite unpacking, it's not actually helping us. So I'm not sure why it did that, but okay. Take these down. They are just watchtowers, so it shouldn't be too difficult. A few unfortunate losses, though. What's this yellow health bar? Okay, I think it's the health bar of the yurt, but for some reason it's... Really high up, but there we go. That must be it now. Surely something's gonna happen. The tell me the trigger's just completely broken. Capture a trebuchet from the Tatars. Do we just need to, like... Have we destroyed the wrong patch of wall, maybe? There we go. Tear down the enemy walls and capture the Hungarian transport ships. 
slightly weird trigger there, but okay, let's pack these up and let's bring them along to the Hungarians, who I'm guessing are these guys right here. But uh, Magyar Hussars and some men at arms, but they don't look too tough. I think that's going to be fine. What's going on here? Ah, oh, they've come out to attack us. Okay, fine. I'm watching their score pretty closely to see if they're actually producing units or not, because if they're not, that's fine. We can take our time a little bit. As uh, Yeah, it looks like they are, so we do actually need to get a move on. Looks like that has woken them up. And if we don't get to them soon, they are just going to keep producing more units. So let's try and clean them out as soon as possible. And uh, the Trebs, I think, will be fine, even undefended. We'll just bring them along in the back. Of villages here that we could kill if we wanted to, but I don't see the point. Okay, I don't think it matters too much that they destroy our yurts, but let's go and clean them out. And there, we appear to have run out of actual melee units now, which is not good. But for some reason they're more interested in attacking the Yurt than their actual units. Okay, this is not looking like a great force. I'm hoping we can get a few more from somewhere. If they start coming at us with skirmishes and things like that, uh, we're not going to be able to do too much to hold them off. Or we will, but we'll take heavy losses, which could be difficult. Also, if they come at us with a battering ram, uh, we have pretty much nothing we can do. Except get in their way before they can get to the trebuchets. take down that tower. I'm assuming that's going to bring them out once they notice it. Okay, no, they're just going to stay put and watch us destroy their tower. So, okay, that's fine. Presumably could even kill these units if we wanted to. one down. Go for the next. So I don't know if this is a new feature of Definitive Edition, but normally it would just say it's too far away to attack, but it looks like they've actually changed it so the Trebs now actually pack automatically and move. So that's pretty cool. Most people probably already know that, but this is actually the first time I've used trebuchets in this version of the game. So, yeah, let's take out this gate. Or could even go for the walls. Then it looks like we'll just go for the gate instead. That's fine. All right, I'm going to actually make these guys into a control group, and uh, I think we can snipe these crossbowmen. Perfect. Any more towers? Okay, one more tower. Can we take this out without getting attacked? I think we probably can. Might as well weaken it slightly. So it looks like they're not keen on attacking. Doesn't seem to be any kind of personality to this orange player gonna let us weaken them bit by bit. As yeah, the guard tower is gonna do, go down pretty quickly. The man at arms should be absolutely no problem for what we do have. The score is going up, but they don't seem to be producing new units, so I'm not completely sure what's going on with that. But uh, we are through. Try and thin these guys out one by one, as usual. Okay, here we go.
We've roused a few of them. It's fine. Okay, they still want to attack the building. Guess we have to micro them then. Fine. Not taking any losses so far. <laughs> they, just, they really don't want to fight us. Okay. No trouble so far. Oh crap, what's this? A castle, okay. Be a little bit careful with that one. On the side of the river, there are several Hungarian towns ripe for plundering. Let us cross. So do we actually need to take out the castle? It, it doesn't look like we do. Mm. Okay, so this can carry 10 each. Hopefully we're not expected to have too many more than we do because 13 units is, is not many. We need a lot more than that. There's uh, three knights. Can we focus those down before they do any damage to the trips? I hope so. Actually, that's dangerously close. Looks like they're just going to let us take it down. Fine. I feel like we should do it just in case, because I don't know if this is going to matter later on. And it's right there and it's fairly easy to kill. We might as well do it. Okay, you guys, I think we're going to be safe to board the transport ships. I think. Maybe a little bit risky. Wait till the traps are done. Okay, perfect. Let's shut down. Gather up. Some of these units are very weak. I'm not massively confident. Human camp to the south. Are we going to get shot on our way? That's the question. Wait, so human camp to the south. It must be this, right? There's a few more units there. For some reason we can see this too, and I'm not really sure what that is. Are we supposed to have attacked that instead? No, we can't. Okay, it's across the water anyway, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that. That's fine. Slightly cautious because I don't know if we're going to get attacked as we attempt to cross here, although this does look like a landing spot. Possibly. Maybe not. Okay, let's just go around the perimeter of the island. Then if we find warships, we're pretty screwed. It says the Cuban camp to the south, and... I mean... That's in the west. It's not in the south at all. Is this the way I'm supposed to go? I don't trust it. It doesn't seem right to me, so I'm going to go this way instead. Crap. Okay, that's clearly not good either. Right, let's hope we can get away from those before we get killed. I guess we have to just try and go all the way around, but this is not looking safe at all. Still, there were like three of them behind me there, and uh, I'm hoping that I'm slightly faster, so I might lose them, but no, we are taking damage, and uh, that's actually taken off quite a chunk. This could be really bad. I do have one ship I can use as a potential decoy if I have to. But hopefully it won't come to that. The Hungarians control the resources we need. We should raise their villages to the ground and collect the resources stored there. Alright, no more ships here, that's good. Is this right? There's a landing spot. It's a long way though. Absolutely nowhere near.
At least the Trevs have a decent line of sight. I'm pretty sure we can take this down. Okay, let's take them out one by one. Wow, that went straight down. Perfect. Okay, destroy six Hungarian villages. This presumably is one of them. What the hell? An ox cart again? Is this still a thing? You guys pack up. Don't know what we have to destroy to actually consider this village destroyed. Possibly the two docks. Try taking that thing down. See if it activates the trigger or something. Yeah, this doesn't look too safe. Perhaps I can risk my weakest man just to go and scout. I've only got like 12 guys, so I'm reluctant to go any further. Is this the village? Maybe this is the village too. Okay. Oh, hang on. I just turned white, so does that mean... Yeah, we have destroyed one. Okay. So maybe this is a second village. But we're nowhere near the Cuban camp. So, I'm not sure how to feel about that. Okay, two ox carts. Presumably I'm not meant to just transport them across and back to here, because... That would be very long. And I've also noticed that it's, it's turned back to the Cumans, interestingly. It's not my village anymore. Strange one. Okay, here we go. Is that gonna draw them out? Yes, it is. Okay. Focus them down. What else have they got? Oh crap. Ox cart. Save the ox cart. Come on. Come, come to safety. At least it's distracting them. Because, yeah, skirmish is not ideal. Tough fight. Let you guys pack up. Three living ox carts. I'm sure I'm meant to be doing something with these. That's cavalry archer units. Definitely not ideal for taking down the watchtower there. Okay, so what else have they got? One more man at arms. Otherwise, I think this is fine. Presumably, this isn't the same village as the one we just destroyed, I hope. Wow, did that go down in one shot? Might have missed the first one. Okay, kill this. Kill you guys. Still only one village destroyed, apparently. Okay. It's kind of a shame. I guess we just push on to the Cumans. Without destroying houses is going to accomplish too much. The trebuchets are actually the best scouts we have, so we're going to send them forward first. Should catch out any opponents before they can see us. Oh, jeez, man. Really? Jeez. That is... That's enough to kill us. Presumably we can't avoid it. Like, we have to fight them. That's the thing, like, I could go back across the sea and try and get three more Kipchaks, but... It seems disproportionate. Where have they gone? Okay, here they come. Man, that is not good. We can at least split them up. That's gonna help. 
Jeez, man. I just heard a unit production sound, so I'm not sure what that was. Uh, it's not you guys. Oh, wow, okay. So maybe we really do have to just keep transporting the units back and forth. That seems kind of OTT, but uh, I will do it because I'm not sure what the alternative is right now. We don't really have enough to push much further. And I could use a few more units. Okay, we are now back with another 9 units. And that's pretty much double the size of our force, so that's hopefully going to make a bit of a difference. Uh, yeah, we've only got 8 guys left here, so... We're now up to 17 normal soldiers. Problem is, two of them, are, 3 of them in fact, are just light cav, which are not going to accomplish too much. And uh, I don't know if we need to take on these. Actually, it looks like they're pretty unavoidable, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. Guess we can draw them out one by one. There we go. Caught this guy out. We go up along there. We're getting there slowly. I mean, this looks fairly empty. I think we could get to the Cuban camp, as long as there's nothing too nasty waiting for us. Three knights, can we scare one? Just one. Oh crap. Oh my god, wow. Okay, scorpion, not good, not good, not good. Right. So we want Kipchaks here, and we want you guys to try to catch that scorpion out. Problem is this spearman, of course, is going to do a lot of damage. If he can catch us. There we go, run away. Kipchak should be able to handle these fine. Group these guys up and let's make a push for the third village. There is another scorpion there, annoyingly. Let's take that thing out, and... I don't see any villagers, so I'm not sure the town centre can even attack us. Yeah, let's kill this off, as, uh, unfortunately, I think... Yep, we have now drawn in the knights. That's not good. Everyone pull back. Crap, we've got them all to deal with. As, uh, this could be really bad. Right, take out the spearmen. As, uh, they're not going for the... Trebuchets, which is good at least. Now the center's gone down. Back up. How are we looking? Down to 16 men. Still doing okay. You guys come south. Another rocks cart. I mean, it, it's such a drag to transfer them all, all the way across the sea that I, I don't really want to do that. Don't really want to involve the light cavalry in this fight. There we go. No damage there. That's good. Get these guys on next. Yeah, that all seems pretty manageable. Let's uh, finish off this village. You go for this. You go for this. I'm guessing we can't capture the market. I could use it. Although then again, I don't have the stable anymore, so I guess not. Okay, market's gone down. Barracks. I feel like you're not actually meant to take the box carts back across the sea. I mean, maybe you just need to get to the Cumans and then it's all fine after that. Possibly you can get more units at the Cuman camp, the second Cuman camp, that is. So I've just unlocked the It's a Treb achievement, which. I think that achievement is glitched because I'm pretty sure you get that for like killing 25 units with trebs, but it, it seems to work with 
buildings as well, which is the only explanation I have for the fact that that achievement is currently more widely accomplished than the achievement you get for hunting two boars in the Dark Age. That doesn't add up to me. So I think that achievement is pretty glitched, but yeah. I think we're ready to move on now. I think we can get to the Cumans fine. We've taken out that village. Just gonna keep these two here. And uh, surely we don't have to fight anyone else on the way now. Yeah, it looks like we just push through. Go this way, ideally. Or not. Okay, this is the longest route possible. There we go. Wow. Okay, well if the other Hungarian villages are as easy as the, the two we originally had, then that's going to be completely fine. When it says bring ox carts and human camp, presumably this camp is involved too. Yeah, we've got ourselves another human chief. Two step lances and lots of elite kipchaks. So that's looking pretty good. Still no market though. We can get some siege. It's kind of tough to decide what to actually go for because... Hmm. Don't actually know exactly what we're up against. Magyar Hussars, I think I'd prefer just to have massed cavalry archers. But I might hold off on deciding for now. Should get a few step lances, I guess. We'll go for that. And we've got a couple more elite kip checks. Because, yeah, as suspected, you are supposed to bring the ox camps to this camp rather than the other camp across the sea. Or the river, even. Okay, let's take down this castle. Oh crap, hang on. Are we ready for this? They're all melee units. Yeah, we pretty much just caught them out. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Take down the castle. Oh crap, that's a, a rival treb. It's gonna be really bad. This could be really quite bad. Got our two trips right next to each other, so pretty big target. So yeah, I'm taking some damage there. Surely though, surely two trips can take out one trip. <sighs> really? I'm slightly nervous about this. Yeah, I think we've got one of our horsemen there. But there we go, we've taken it out. Take down the tower next. I think that castle should be a pretty easy target. Second castle is just down here. Similar fare there. Should be pretty manageable. Let's actually get ourselves a few cav archers. Tempt me with skirmishes too. Maybe even scorpions. Scorpions obviously not great against the cavalry units, but thing is they do cost a lot of wood considering their gold cost or even battering rams 160 wood each and I need to use up my wood somehow and battering rams are always helpful so let's get three of those castles going down they're not doing anything about it they're just gonna let us have it I mean that's fine presumably though we have to push through here to find more of the Hungarian villages so we can't just turn back we are gonna have to fight them at some point Wow, what? We got that for destroying the castle, okay. That's good. Can work with that. Uh, elite Step Lancer? Nah, this can't be worth it. If we actually had income, I might go for it, but no. Parthian Tactics. 
You need mounted archers plus two attack versus pikemen. Kind of expensive though. Might go for a few step lances instead. How's this looking? Pretty much fine. Let's go take these out. Yeah, there are quite a few pikemen there in hindsight. Let's pull these guys back. Yeah, it's fairly easy to exploit the fact that the, the units don't come and attack you until you get right up close to them. So the one factor here that I'm I'm not sure what to think of is the Austrians. Got 2,000 points, whatever that means. And uh, I don't know if they're just going to show up from a trigger or something, possibly once we take down all six villages or both castles. If they should come with a large force that could be a bit of an issue. Let's try and single out our Kipchaks. These Kipchaks? No, they're Step Lancers. Kipchaks. I'm going to use these guys just to take out all these pikemen. Should be pretty easy. <laughs> they're just they're trying to walk away. Oh wow, okay. Here comes uh, a load of crossbowmen. This is going to be your job. So it looks like we can just ignore those last two pikemen. And uh, hang on a minute. We are right in the midst of another one of these villages. It looks like they actually are economically active in one way or another, gathering up some stuff from the sheep. Uh, not too heavily defended, should be able to take this out just fine. Steal the sheep. Pikeman. Skirmishes. Okay, let's bring the trebs up. Clean this place out. Okay, we've got quite a few resources to spend now. I think with that kind of distribution it possibly screams step lances. So let's focus mostly on those. As uh, wow, we can recruit 15 if we want to. We still have enough for several battering rams. And we'll get some more later on too. There's another camp destroyed. Let's move on. I'm thinking there might be one more in this area that we can take out. Possibly up here. Whoa, hang on, that's the Austrians. They're listed as an ally, I'm not sure that's true. I'm pretty sure it said the Hungarians were the ones who killed Kotyan. So, I don't trust that. I'm not going anywhere near that. They might be the ones who come after us at the, the end of the level, possibly. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Go back to camp. So we might not actually use these battering rams, but if nothing else, they can take hits for a little while. And mass step lances are really good. Particularly if you use patrol stance, they can just... pretty much attack, just like ranged units, once you get close enough. So it's going to take a while to produce all of those, so let's move on. Let's set the spawn point to here. And let's see what comes up next. Okay. Hungarian nobles, so I'm not sure where the next two villages are. Doesn't look to me like there's much space for more villages. That you could fit one in on this tiny corner of the map, so that can't be it. So... Maybe here? Ah, oh, that is one, isn't it? Crap, okay, should have gone for that. You know what? We could probably do it with just our cavalry. 
then I think the Trebs should be safe here. If they die, that's not good. We wait there. Let's see, what are we dealing with here? The usual, by the looks of it. Town center? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, that's fine. So, wow. The amount of damage those spearmen do to the light cab with every hit is insane. Definitely just want to focus those down. And I'm pretty sure we can take this out on our own. In the meantime, let's edge slightly closer to here just to see what we're up against. Seems fine, I think we can manage all that. Right, so let's take out the mill and hopefully that counts as destroying this village. Guess we need a couple of the houses too. So presumably when we get 450 food from the Hungarians, that's because we've pillaged it. It looks slightly confusing when it says they tributed it to us because obviously we're killing them, so that doesn't make any sense. But yeah, uh, this is now done, so we can now head back. As uh, We do have lots of food and wood to spend, but I do think we will. Bring our battering rams with us. Yeah, I don't really see the point of having trash here. I mean, it's better than nothing, but I think we want to stick to mostly cavalry. You guys all pull back. Crap. Must have kept check there. Wasn't paying attention. Like, I don't know if we actually need to be this cautious. But, like, it's definitely the optimum way to do it, so... We will carry on. This looks a little bit tougher to get to, but still. Not that strongly defended, I think. Just go in, take the pikemen out before they can do any damage. And now we pull back. You guys, we are going to send to attack these watchtowers. I mean, we won't take major losses if we get close to the walls, but they're kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying that they keep backing up like that towards the watchtowers, which there are more than a couple. unit there that we can't seem to get to for some reason. Is that a unit? There's two health bars for the archery range. Oh well. Let them come out one by one. That's fine. So annoying. Stop running away. There we go. Right, so what have they got left? Like four Magia Husses and that's it. That's no trouble. But we need to find that sixth village, which might be here in the south. Okay. 
Okay. Doesn't look too good. I'm pretty sure based on what I've seen so far, they're not going to come out and attack the Trebs, but uh, I shouldn't go too far from them. There must be another town, another village, somewhere in this area. Here we go, that's the last one. Another Trebs. Still safe, okay. I'm going to risk it. Through it. We still have battering rams if we need them. Watch tower there, that's not ideal. Actually quite a few Hungarian noble defenders too. Okay, I'm gonna actually wait till we bring the Trebs up. Okay, second castle's gone down. Once and for all. Ten soldiers need to escape, but like, where? It doesn't tell me, does it? Okay, I'm confused by this because we still got one more Hungarian village to kill off, and presumably these guys are going to be getting stronger and stronger. The longer it takes us to actually flee the map, so... Like, do I need to take out the village first? Does it matter? Or should I just be rushing to the flagged area, which is presumably this? And we can see right there, there is uh, another onager, which is always an annoying thing to deal with. You know what, I think we should just go and take these out as quickly as possible. Oh, crap, we're taking quite a few losses there. Pull back. Try and get ourselves on this hill. Still not dead apparently, I guess we're going to take out the two stables. Okay, Hungarian score is not going up. That's a good sign. Bring the ox cart back too. A couple of ox carts. And we've got quite a few resources to spend, so let's go with... Well... I think step lancers because we know they have uh, onages, so we will want a few of them. But we've got enough wood to buy a few other things too. You can also come back. And presumably we don't need the trebs, but I'll still bring them with me just in case. Uh, I'm looking closely at the Austrian score. I can't remember if that's the same number I saw before or not. Because if they're going to keep getting stronger and stronger, that's not good. But, on the other hand... If there are triggers for them to get stronger... That would be an odd one, because they're right there. And we'd have to go straight through them. So I don't think the game would do that to us. That would be... Pretty harsh. Uh, we've got plenty of resources to spend. Good, a couple more kip checks. Keep the step lances coming. I'd ideally like a monk to try and heal up, but I don't think that's going to be possible. Okay, we've got 60 cav here. That should, I think, be enough. We'll soon find out. Right, don't be doing that, you're going to get yourself killed. Don't do that at all. Everyone pull back. Stick together. Couple of watchtowers there, that shouldn't be too tough. Even got the battering rams if we need them. Okay, here come the knights. Can we actually beat them? Like, do we have to just try and run through them, or do we have to fight them? I'm not really sure. Okay, you know what? Step Lancers, you guys need to be taking this thing out. Urgently. Okay, that's fine. Focus on the pikemen. Okay, that's the first wave done. 
Not over yet. Anyone else to come up? Yep, still got a few more step lances to come. Perfect. I might be being too cautious here. Like, I might just already have enough to go and rush in, but... I don't know that for sure, so I'm going to play it fairly safe. Right, let's have a look here. You guys, I think, can safely go and attack the gate. Uh, what have we got? Watchtower there. You pull back, you're in range. Look for that watchtower. It's like, have we already cleared out their units? Okay, here we go. There's some knights. You guys actually need to pull back because you can't take them on. You're going to get killed. Focus them down before they can get to the trips. Oh wow, they've got Teutonic Knights. Okay, we need the Kipchaks for that. Kipchaks will absolutely destroy Teutonic Knights. Is this the right type of unit? I don't think so. Everyone needs to pull back. What the hell? Where are my Kipchaks? Kipchaks. Like the right unit. Oh man. It's not ideal. Right, we need to absolutely focus down the Teutonic Knights. Because the rest of our units are going to do nothing to them. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Ten soldiers need to survive. Is there going to be enough to kill ten soldiers? Uh, I mean, is there going to be enough to kill... What, like 70 soldiers, maybe? I think we're doing okay. Don't want to get my hopes up, but, like, this seems... More than doable. The scout with the trebs. Uh, you guys shouldn't be fighting these. Batting rams push on. Trebs, let's have one of you attack the watchtower. Now uh, there is a castle to worry about, and uh, lots of monks, which. We've got to focus these down because they're gonna do some serious damage to us. They can get a couple of converts. They pull back. You go for the castle. You guys take out the knights here, just completely ignoring the battering rams. Pikeman, isn't they? But yeah, that's all fine. Because yeah, it does look like he is producing units, but uh, he's got no economy and it doesn't look like any tribute. Uh, not tributes. Uh, triggers are helping him out, so that's all fine. Okay, move on. Just need to escape, so we just need to get to there. Okay. Don't think we're quite at the point yet where we can rush in. So he does have murder holes, so that's fine. We can actually use the rest of our units to attack this. Okay, that's gone down. And the rams up here. So you guys attacking, bring you up. So it doesn't appear to be producing any cavalry. It just seems to be a few units from the barracks. As a uh, wow, okay, I've gone completely the wrong way. I have absolutely gone completely the wrong way. Can we take this guy out of the game? Like, is he just out? I don't know if I needed to do this at all, but I tell you what, since we're here, that thing's gotta go. And so is this one. I'll take my time. I don't care. He's got a couple more Teutonic Knights. Where are these coming from? Okay, the Austrians are just gone, so we don't need to worry about them. Just whatever's left of the Hungarian nobles, which... Okay, they are going to try and avoid us. Ah, they've actually moved out of range, I think. Tell you what, if we just attack ground, do they still dodge us? 
Should have done that in the first place, I guess. Yeah, so when you attack ground, they don't try and dodge you, so that's like the obvious way to do it, I suppose. Should get a few kills there. Earn that achievement legitimately. Right, let's pull you a little bit closer. Allows us to see a little bit more of what we're up against too, so there are a few pikemen, that's fine. Let's gather up what's left of our units. So we're down to 55. I think 60 is the max that you can select at once. And so we might have to go through the final Hungarian village to get there, I guess. Right, attack ground right there. Let's see if you can get him. That really looked like it should have got him, but never mind. Right, everyone needs to take these out. You guys focus down the scorpions, which are going to be doing horrible amounts of damage. If I'd known this was here, I would have gone for this as one of my chosen targets, but never mind. Alright, let's try and take out these pikemen. As you can see, because of the way the step lances work, just as soon as they get close to us, the pikemen get absolutely destroyed. I think we're good to move on. Still got 55, 53 even. Just need to keep 10 alive, and presumably that includes the battering rams, so that's all fine. Uh, we can see everything that's left and it's completely easy to take out, so I think we're gonna pass this one with flying colours. I should actually use my kip checks for this, to be honest. Might as well take as many with us as possible. Not that it makes any difference. Careful of my own friendly fire here. Right, you can actually stop that now. And you can too. And these guys, there's pretty much nothing left to finish off, so we will just power through. Wait, what's that? River fortification. Okay, it's no stronger than a normal watchtower, so no worries. Just ride through all of this, just ignore it. That ram is gonna get a nasty hit off. Not a ram, onager. Let the Mongols take care of the corpse of the once mighty kingdom of Hungary. Are we done? There we go. Sweet. We left no stone unturned and spared no living being. Every shack, hovel and hut was burned to the ground. All livestock killed and all farms trampled to dust. After we had plundered the last village before crossing into Bulgaria, I looked over my shoulder and saw nothing but a nightmarish vision of red and black, as if we had brought hell to the surface of the earth itself. The Hungarians will think twice in the future before double-crossing us. Okay, there we go. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, do check the playlist link in the description. I believe there is only one scenario left of this campaign now, so pretty much at the home straight. But yeah, there you go. Thanks, guys. I will see you next time.